Heading off to Bali soon and I thought it would be super fun to do a quick showing as to what's in my carry-on bag and some of my travel essentials for a long international flight. Hopefully this will help you if you're traveling soon and you need some packing motivation and some ideas as to what to bring along. This is my new backpack, let's have a quick look inside as to I picked up the Rocker London backpack in the design Finchley A in this beautiful antique pink colour. While it comes in small, medium and large, I decided to go for the medium size which has a 15 litre capacity so it's definitely big enough to fit a large laptop. What I love most about the bag is that the material has been made from melting down plastic bottles found on beaches so it feels nice to do my very little bit for the planet. The backpack has a roll top closure which means I can extend the magnetic clips if I ever need to fit in some extra big items. And inside there are a lot of smaller pocket compartments including a laptop sleeve which is padded for protection. I also love the generous size of the side pockets which are large enough to fit a water bottle and an umbrella. There is also a deep and generous front pocket and perfect for everyday items that you need quick access to. The straps are pretty comfortable and easy to adjust. I love how the buckles are made out of metal versus plastic, which I find can easily break down over time. I've been looking for a new backpack for the longest time and I just love how functional and pretty this one is and I can't wait to take it on holidays. My favorite videos to actually make is travel vlogs, so I have a lot of tech gear in my carry-on bag. First up is my laptop. I keep it in this adorable pink little computer case. Even though the bag has a padded pocket on the inside, I still like to keep this just so it has that extra padding. Um, I'm currently using the MacBook Air. I absolutely love this. I use it for content creation to edit all my long form videos as well as even my short form content. I find that it's just much easier and faster than editing on my phone. I edit everything on Final Cut Pro. For my short form video, I actually use an app called VN Editor. I believe it stands for Vlog Now Editor, but I find that the most user-friendly. Some of my favorite programs also include Canva for all my thumbnails, and I use Epidemic Sound for all my current music. So this is my travel office here. I also can't live without my hard drive. My computer would crash in a heartbeat if I didn't have extra storage. This hard drive has been super reliable. I haven't had any issues with it, with any files lagging or going corrupt, knock on wood. And the extra orange padding is great for travel just in case it gets knocks and bumps. Also for long haul flights, I can't live without my headphones. These are the Apple Air Max Pros. I've done a full unboxing. I haven't had a chance to test these out on long haul flights. So I'm super excited to see how they will perform. But so far, the sound cancellation on these have been incredible. So that also goes in my bag. Next, I have my AirPods. Even though I have the big headphones, I also like to carry AirPods for when I'm walking around the airport, also lounging by the pool when I don't really wanna have big headphones in because they can get a bit heavy after a while and these are always a good backup. So I always make sure I have two sets of headphones for different occasions. There is nothing worse than not having headphones. I'll also be taking my Sony ZV-1, which is the camera that I'm filming with right now. I love this camera. It's very easy to use, just point and shoot. I don't really fiddle around with any of the settings. I just use the automatic intelligent mode and it seems to know what to do. The only thing I will say about the camera that I don't love is probably some of the photo settings. I find that they're a bit hard to navigate, but in terms of taking videos, it's a great vlogging camera. I'll also be bringing my very new and first action camera. I decided to invest in the Insta360 GO 3. Oh my goodness, I've started playing with this little thing and it is so much fun. It's the world's smallest action camera. What I love most about this is that you can detach the camera, mount this on any surface, but still be able to see what you're filming. Like 
that is so cool and so much fun i can't wait to use this on holidays i think it's just going to be so fun to capture pov shots and different angles that you can't perhaps capture with a traditional camera how freaking adorable is it it's so cute don't worry i'll be doing a full unboxing and review on the camera so watch out for that coming i also have my ipad mini i love this thing this pretty much acts as my kindle and currently doing a reading challenge where i'm trying to read 12 books this year so far i'm at 10 so i'm quite proud but part of the reason why i've been able to read so quickly is because of the iPad mini. It's just so much easier to read at night time. I can read it in the dark. I know that's probably not very good for you and I just find that I just read so much faster. So if you're trying to get your reading up, definitely recommend the Kindle or an iPad mini as a way of building up your reading. Also I'll have my tech case with all my battery packs, chargers, extension cords, convertible plugs. So it's quite a heavy bag. It takes up probably half of the bag. Then I have all my little toiletries and extras in here. I won't go through everything but I'll share some of the essentials. I have my sunglasses. These are from Gentle Monster. I feel very K-pop in these. For me the bigger the better. So I always find that the bigger the sunglasses the smaller my face looks. So I love that for that. Also thermal spring water spray mist is a must. I love the travel size for this one. I find that it helps keep my skin quite moist, especially on long flights and helps me to feel more awake and fresh. So I love that. Also a travel size sunscreen. I'm very conscious when sitting by the window on an aeroplane that even then there may be some sun exposure. So I make sure I have something on hand that I can just spritz on without having to touch up my makeup. So the ultraviolet SPF 50 spray bottle is a great option. Seriously, how cute is this little pink packaging? I can never have enough lip glosses while traveling. I find my lips get super dry and so I make sure I have at least one or two on hand. These are the ones I'm currently loving. So the Summer Friday, which is more of a buttery balm, that's quite nice. But then I also have the Jisoo Honey Infused Lip Oil, which I like as well. So these are my go-to lip balms when I need that added moisture. For makeup, I generally like to keep it quite light while I'm traveling, but I will have a couple of things on hand. I will usually have a concealer for touch-ups just before I get off the plane and as well as a powder. I also love multi-purpose products. So this is a nude stick. I love this. It's a moisturizing cream blush and can use it also as a lip tint. It's great for travel and there's also a little brush on the other side which I think is so convenient. Also because I don't like adding more product to my face, what I'll usually work with is blotting powder and blotting powder. This is a great option by Rare Beauty and it has a huge mirror because a girl can never have too many mirrors on hand. What I love about the backpack is also the side pockets. So I'll definitely be able to bring a water bottle. I am very eco-conscious these days, so nothing pains me more than having to buy plastic bottles. So whenever I travel, I try my very best to bring a reusable and refillable water bottle with me. What I love about this one is that you can open the bottle the whole way so then you can clean the inside because sometimes when you have a refillable bottle you can't reach into the bottom so i really like the feature on this bottle also can't go without the hand sanitizer still very mindful of covid especially when traveling so where i can try and avoid getting sick i definitely will tissues and wet wipes there is nothing worse when you're traveling and you don't have access to tissues and wet wipes when you need to wash your hands these are just a must for travel but also for every day so i also carry these in my bag all the time also is a must is mints especially after a long flight no explanation needed but definitely a must have I hope you found that helpful if you are looking to travel soon and it gave you some packing motivation. Do subscribe if you're keen to follow with some of my upcoming travel vlogs. I hope you're having a wonderful day no matter where you are in the world and I can't wait to see you very, very soon. If 
you're looking to travel soon and get some ideas as to what to I hope you found that helpful if you're looking to travel soon. Also, if you want to 